So this is the update on the thermal store in the polytunnel. It's now about 95% complete. So we're sucking in air through this tube here at the top, which is then bringing the hot air down. Goes around the 25 meters of tubing in the U-shape. Comes back, goes around this 1,200 liter oil tank once, then goes in at this end. So I'll see what the temperature is at the top at the moment. If I can see that, what, 22 degrees? It was actually up to about 30, 35 today early on because it was sunny, but now it's quite cloudy. And this is actually where the air comes out from. So I've got a thermometer recording it. It'll be about 15 degrees there. Oh, it's quickly rising as I've taken it out. And there's a decent airflow coming out of there. I'll get a bit of grass here to demonstrate. You can see there. Blowing the air up. So the, air, the hot air comes through the pipe, loses all the heat into the ground, also puts a lot of heat into this water tank, which is huge, about 1,200 litres. And then once all the heat has been taken out of the air, it comes out here cold. Now the pipe is perforated, so we have got some air loss throughout the system, but it's just into the soil, so that will only actually help warm up the soil. So at night time, this will suck in cold air, um, or moderately warm air, as is at the top, not the bottom, which will then pass through here, warming up through all of the ground that's been previously warmed, and we should have warm air coming out here, which will probably be about 15 degrees coming out. It should be constant, the temperature of this outport. So it should be constant, 15 degrees coming out, so that will cool it in the day, and it'll help heat it, keep the frost away at night. But also, with the hot air hot heating up all the soil, and with the pipes only being about a foot, un foot underground, there should be a lot of heat coming out of the soil at night as well. So there should be quite a difference. Now normally there's a, th there's a two or three degree temperature difference between inside and out, sometimes as low as one degree difference. So I'll keep track of it as the night goes on and we'll see. I'll do another update video, it might be a, a few weeks or a few months away though depending on the weather conditions and when I'm going to be back here again and I'll let you know the temperature difference with the outside and the inside and see if we can get more like a 5 degree temperature difference with this heating system.